Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast from javascript.info, the modern javascript tutorial. We are down in section 3, code quality, coding style 3.2. At the beginning of the tutorial, all kinds of great tips on how to make your code readable. Readable, consistent code is going to have fewer errors. No doubt when you get to the company that you work for, they will have a style guide which will tell you exactly how they want the code written because they want their code base to look the same between all programmers, so it's easily maintainable by all programmers. So where to put spaces between your operators, where to put your opening curly brace and your closing curly brace, how far to indent your code, where to put empty lines, all of those little pieces, if done consistently and according to the style guide, will make your code more beautiful, more readable, have fewer errors, and make it easier to maintain. Web languages, meaning CSS and JavaScript, we commonly put the opening curly brace on the same line that starts the block versus its own line. I know that in C++ and some other languages, the opening curly brace is on its own line. But if you want your JavaScript to look like it came from a web developer versus a C++ programmer, you're going to want to use the same styles and habits that the professional web developers use. There's many examples in this lesson about do's and don'ts, how to make your code look more professional and more readable. There's even some guidelines on where to place your functions. Do we place them at the beginning of the code or just above where they're first used? And then some of the most popular and common style guides that many different companies use are shown as links in the style guides section. In the automated linters section, we have some links to some linters which do some style checking for you. A linter for JavaScript is different than a validator for HTML and CSS. In CSS and HTML, the validators actually find errors. In JavaScript, you usually find your errors before you get to the linters because after all, if you've got an error in your JavaScript code, it's going to sometimes throw a message in the console and oftentimes just not run at all. So a lot of your debugging is done before you get to a linter. Still, if you want your code to be highest quality, you'll run your JavaScript through a linter. And in summary, the main thing, of course, is that your code works consistently and correctly. And secondly, you'll want your code to be as consistent and readable and beautiful as possible. Thank you.